So what sort of settings do I recommend for hybrid log gamma? Well, that's what I'm going to delve into right now. All right, so first thing first, hybrid log gamma. Hybrid log gamma, it's part of HDR. Okay, what it basically does, it, alre it already enhances the gamma on high dynamic range, meaning you're getting not only high dynamic range, but on top of a high dynamic range, you're also getting this hybrid log gamma that enhances dynamic contrast between your black digital levels and your white bright levels. And that's why you see it under the gamma levels. So when you click on the HL, a HLG hybrid log gamma, you can only go darker or you can go brighter. And that's what it does basically. It brightens up the picture if you if you need it to. But I don't advise you guys to brighten up the picture. I think your hyper log gamma should be set at zero or minus one in my opinion. I think minus one, uh, the George Washington Bridge here looks much, or is it Brooklyn Bridge? No, George Washington Bridge in New York. There's the Freedom Towers. Uh, I think this will look better on minus one. Zero, it's still going to brighten up the picture a little bit, but I think minus one is going to give you that nice uh, dynamic black levels between the digital black levels and the white bright levels. And what's so great about the hybrid log gamma with the HDR is the fact that we're not crushing anything here by moving it to minus one. We can still see the definition of this tree. You see this tree right here that's being overshadowed. We can still see it just like you would in real life. And this is really what Hyperlog Gamma does. It really brings that like natural dynamic in the picture. So having Hyperlog Gamma in addition to the HDR, I think it's a, it's a big bonus. And I think this is something that could help enhance the movies, meaning you'll have to buy these movies again with hybrid log gamma. I would love to see some of these movies being released with hybrid log gamma because I think this is a very cool addition to the HDR format. So in my opinion, I think leaving it at minus one, it really gives a nice definition of deep dark levels. Moving it to zero, it brightens it up a little bit, but I don't like it to be too bright. I really like it at minus one because it really gives a nice definition. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I think it gives a much better definition when it's left at minus one. And I also think this is a great example as to why I like to keep the uh, hybrid log gamma at minus one. Look at the definition on a dynamic uh, picture here with this hybrid log gamma. Look at the deep dark levels and the white bright levels. Definition of the reflection on the ceiling on this, uh, whatever this is, cathedral. Uh, when you move it to zero, it brightens up a little bit, and I don't like it. it. Looks too bright. At minus one, it really gives a nice definition. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So I definitely would agree. Look right here. You see right where my finger is. I definitely agree to leaving it at minus one. Definitely helps here, big time. So minus one for sure. Let's look at uh, yet another example. I'm trying to show you why I leave it at minus one. And I think another great uh, example, it's here as well. Look how the sun's passing through by leaving it at minus one. You get a really nice, almost like looking through a window, uh, almost like a live natural picture. But when you move it to the zero, it brightens that up a little bit. I don't like that brightness that's going up. It looks like a fog. It looks like it's like fogging the picture. Moving it to minus one, it really gives a nice definition on the clouds and everything else. It brings it to a natural level. So remember, minus one. Trust me. If you want your hybrid log gamma to look really good with your HDR, leave it at minus one, as you can see right here. So it's just a short little video. I want to give you my recommendations. This is what I recommend, minus one. Give it a try. Let me know what you think for hybrid log gamma.